guys! Okay, so for today's video I'm going to be doing something very special and it's going to be very quick but I felt like it needed to be done. Um, for a very long time I have been looking for an active makeup tutorial on YouTube because I used to play basketball and do dance and all that stuff and when I went I wouldn't know what to do with my makeup because I wouldn't want to do like nothing at all but I wanted to do, I didn't want to do anything heavy so I wanted to do something kind of in between. So I'm going to be showing you guys a very good active makeup look. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so first of all we're going to start out with a BB cream and also I, if you don't want to get this, I have heard people raving about Neutrogena Long Lasting Foundation which also has SPF 20 like the BB cream. So that is a really good thing to use if you're doing any kind of outdoor sporting activity thing. I know I go out and just kind of like ride bikes and stuff a lot and play with my friends and that kind of thing so I want coverage and I want something that's going to protect my skin from the sun if you aren't doing anything outdoors and you don't really need this you could just use like a normal foundation but I'm going to be using this today because the sun and I had never been using used BB cream until very recently and I heard about it and I was like, I've got to check this out. Everybody's raving about this. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It's got the best coverage. As y'all can see before, this my skin looked really bad, but it's going to change dramatically. The coverage is amazing. And it's really good that it has SPF 20 because I'm out in the sun a lot and I don't want to get burned. And... I mean, that's awesome. You get a foundation and you don't have to worry about sunscreen, and that is just amazing. And I was wondering if it's waterproof. It's not that needs to happen. Wouldn't that be cool, like a waterproof BB cream that you could wear like when you went swimming and stuff? That would be awesome. Perfect for the summer. I'm going to have to look into that. But, see? Really good coverage, and it's perfect for activeness. And so... The next thing that I would do would be eyeshadow, but I'm going to skip that today because that's just a big long process. And yes, it looks awesome. Sorry, my nose is itching. I don't know why. It doesn't really itch until I do a video. Stuff like this doesn't happen until I do a video. And then it happens. Very inconvenient. But anyway, <laughs> normally I would do eyeshadow, but I'm not going to be doing it today because you don't want to have to deal with really heavy eyeshadow when you're going to do something active. So I'm just going to stick to eyeliner and normally I would wing it out but I'm not going to today and that is going to scoot forward here so y'all can see that is going to give a less dramatic look and way better for activeness I don't really know how to say that when you're being active and I'm not going to apply it to my waterline just to my upper lash line because I don't want to be too dramatic. Oh, and I thought about doing hair for this video, but then I ended up not doing it. So, if you guys would be interested in seeing, like, a bun tutorial or something like that, leave a comment down below and let me know. Next, I will be applying mascara because it's just a must-have. But I won't be applying it to my bottom lashes, just to my upper lashes to give it a less dramatic look. I got that on me. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Camera. You know, last time I actually hit a mirror. Probably should have done that this time. I wasn't thinking very, very smart of me. Yep. Look you there. Look at me. Usually, if I do mascara, it's going to be a mess. It doesn't matter how long I'll do it. It's always going to be a mess. <gasps> but it looks better now after I fix it up. 
and there's that. As you can see, now my eyes are still popping, but it's not like, whoa, dramatic, <laughs> crazy stuff. And also, we cannot forget lips. So, first you're going to do something that is going to nourish your lips and stop them from being chapped or just looking icky. So, I just use plain old chapstick, but you could use Burt's Bees, anything that you like to nourish your lips. And then, best thing since sliced bread, ta-da, baby lips. And these are just way lighter than the lipstick, but it, it gives a really pretty color. And this one is from the Electric Collection. It's just a very light pink, but it's really, really cute, and I really, really love it. And these are perfect for when you want just a very light color. And that is it, you guys. I told you it was going to be really short. Okay, so that is an awesome active makeup look. And like I said before, if you want to see any kind of more hair tutorials, maybe like a waves tutorial or a bun tutorial, make sure you leave a comment down below because I really want to start doing those. And give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below if you liked it and what you thought about it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also, while we're on the subject of being active, remember to go outside because you're supposed to get at least an hour of exercise each day and it's really really important and I love to exercise I love just being active so I always remember to be active every day because it's a big beautiful world out there waiting for you to explore it and I sound like a commercial but it's really important so yeah and you guys just remember that you were born to be somebody and don't ever forget it this has been Caroline Claiborne I love you bye